podcast, but it's 114 outside. Fuck that. Alrighty then, I pull up my notes. I did take, I know I said I had nothing prepared, but I have some points on here that I would like to discuss. God, I hate, I, we've been having this problem with on all, all the podcasts lately. I can't tell if it's the table squeaking, or if it's a fucking mic connected to it, or if it's a mix of both, but I gotta fix something about that. It's so obnoxious. Every movement is like squeaky, 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 squeaky. Um, so... First thing, I, I, I've, I've actually been struggling trying to get this podcast going. I uh, Lately, I haven't had a lot of energy to want to do videos. It feels like lately I either have so much energy, I'm like, I want to film this and this and this and this and this. Or I wake up and I'm just like bummed out and I'm like, that's not a good idea. And I get all in my head about it. Shit like that. And it's been kind of tough lately. Like, uh, Random Ramblings hasn't been hard, but I, I just got to watch you and sit on here and make Hess and Nick laugh. And that's pretty easy to film. Um, but like for this, or like doing gaming videos and shit like that, it's been hard to want to film lately, which kind of blows, but you know, whatever. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if people even care about that, but yeah, it's been kind of hard for me lately. Um, so what I want to get into, oh yeah, in, I, the first thing I want to talk about is I hate, like I didn't start this out by saying, what's up everybody, welcome back to, if you don't know me, don't listen to this, if you know me, don't listen to this. Um, anything like that. I, I hate intros like that. And I know I do that in literally every video, every podcast on this channel. But, like, intros are just so boring, you know? Like, it's just everybody does the same thing. Like, hello, welcome to this, or what's up, everybody? Like, I need a thing that's my own. Where I'm like, fuck a dog. <laughs> Maybe not fuck a dog. But it just where I say something, and then, you know, it just gets the show rolling, and I can just, like, cut to a clip of something and do this and do that and it's not just like fucking the same old shit here and there you know uh let's see do these sounds work fuck off yeah there we go got the replicables ones up right now like uh shut up and sit down you big ball fuck um but yeah that's what I, I tell me if anybody agrees like if you're like it even bothers me like when i listen to podcasts and all the intros are the same majority of the time and i'm like what like we've all just gotten into the habit of all saying the same shit to introduce a thing and then we jump into what we're talking about but those, it's so boring. Like, I wish like, you'd just, like, just start. Because I, I even stress myself out. I'm like, oh, how am I going to say this? And how am I going to get it? And I wish we could just be like, yeah, so we want to talk about Last of Us 2. I mean, like, I probably could. But it's weird, I think. I also, sometimes, I, I get, get in my head a little bit, too. Like, you probably see me constantly back and forth looking at all these cameras I have here. Like, um, I'm looking at this one right here. And it weirds me out a little bit that you can maybe just see my head here. And I know I'll be editing this and it might look fine. might look bad. I don't know. But then, like, there you can see me and it looks good. And I get in my head about that, or like I'll constantly look over, and I feel like I am one rapid fire talking, and I can hear my mother in the hallway. And two, I feel like I'm complaining a lot, but I'm just saying my thoughts. Like I, 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 I worry, I guess too much, because a lot of the time shit fails. Like we recorded for uh, maybe an hour and a half of playing Warzone the other day with me, Hess, and Nick. I had a camera on me. I had we had the capture card going. I had both their audios going into this recorder here. I had all the levels right. Also, I had headphones inside like this that I could hear them. And headphones on my head, lights, all the shit set up. And literally, the only thing we got out of it because the capture failed three times, and then we played shitty anyway. So the capture did, wouldn't even matter if it worked. And then at the end, we got something that I'm gonna make a TikTok of later. And that's literally all. an hour and a half for like a 17 second TikTok or something. I don't know how I got to. The, oh yeah, stuff failing. It just seems to fail all the time, and it makes me really self-conscious. Like, is this still recording? Uh, is that camera angle friend? Because it does happen a lot too. Where like, I'll be, I'll set up these cameras, and it takes me like a half hour to set all the lights and the cameras. And even though the, our videos don't have the best quality, uh, to set this stuff up, and then I'll editing it, and I'll be like, "Fuck, the camera's a little lopsided." Or "Fuck, this look bad." Like, or like the reflection of this light I have over here. It's like a little arrow. That light reflects onto Hess's iPad that we film off, which we're going to try doing Zoom now because I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Um, the screen recorded and all that. But we had a camera on it because we were just, you know, that worked. Because we tried uh, capturing from the iPad and all kinds of other things, and it just didn't work, so we just used cameras for that. But stuff failing, it gets me all worried. 
Okay. Um, but enough about uh, film and shit. Uh, I've recently started running again. You know, because, you know, everything shut down here in Arizona again. I can't go to the gym, so I've been doing push-ups and pull-ups and sit-ups and random shit here, you know, to try to stay fit. And then I'm like, oh, I'll start running again, too. Why not? Because my sister got into running a little bit ago, and I was like, sure, I'll run with you. And then, you know, it, I kind of actually enjoyed it. Turn on a nice podcast and start running. This couch is so close to me right here. It's a little annoying. <laughs> Anyways, um, and I learned recently, starting running again, that I have a new fear. And it's not, like, it's a weird one. And, uh, uh, like, so I'm running down the road, and it'll come to a turn. And I, every time I'm about to turn, if it's a street that I can't see, like it's like there's a house in the way or something or a fence, I, in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, there could be barbed wire here. Or like ra- someone put up a string of razor blades or something. And I, <laughs> I'm going to run right into it. And I'm going to just rip apart my legs. And I even think about like if someone's watching me and preparing for me to do that and fall down, and, like they're going to get me, put me in like a, like a knapsack or something and carry me away. How quickly can I get to my phone and pull out my phone and call my sister or call 911 or something? And uh, I don't think that's very healthy. But uh, I have, I've been thinking about that a lot when I run, about how, or like if I'm turning a corner, someone could easily have a shovel and just ding, hit me in the head as I go by. And uh, it kind of worries me a little bit. It hasn't stopped me from running yet. I guess I wouldn't unless that happens. But uh, I, I, I was going to say I don't normally think like that, but I do, I guess, because like I'll go to QT. And if any anybody, it could be a guy in a business suit or it could be a crackhead. And they'll walk right past me. And I'll get this little coldness in my back where I'm like, oh, they're going to stab me in the back. I'm just going to feel a warm shank in my back. And it, it's never happened. I've never even heard of anybody in this area. I mean, actually, probably someone has been killed there. But I, I, I haven't in my memory right now. I can't think of anybody that's been stabbed there. And I still think that every time or like if a car pulls up next to me at a light i'm the whole entire time i will not look at them and i just think oh they're gonna shoot me in the head they might just shoot me in the head and yeah that's 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 a little bit into my brain um but so the main thing i want to talk about is suspense drink for suspense uh the last of us two I, uh, by the way, if, any, if this is your first time listening to this, you're probably thinking this guy's can't stand a fucking topic to save his life. Uh, this is just my thoughts, and this is how my brain works. Just going to keep going through things that I'm thinking about throughout the week and day, and however often I do this. Um, but Last of Us 2. I beat it three, four days ago. I wanted to do a podcast right after I beat it, but then I got in my head about it, if I even should. I was going to watch, this is how, like... I was going to watch some other people's reactions to the ending, too, because I've only seen people on Twitter, so then I can get a feel for how the best, like, whatever. I'm just going to, I just want to say my thoughts. I don't know anybody else, except for some people say that it has no payoff. I disagree. That's all I really know about anybody else's opinion. Uh, I loved the game. I was actually sad when I beat it, because I was like, well, now what? And I, I did just buy God of War, so I'm going to play that. I haven't played any of them yet, but I got the, the you know, the remake-ish one, the, the 2018 one that's supposed to be really good. Um... But I loved it. I, I played the first game, and I really, really liked it. I actually played the first game, and then I didn't finish it, and then I played it again and finished it. Um, and then uh, my grandmother got me Last of Us 2 for my birthday. I was going to get it earlier, but then I put it on an Amazon list, and I knew she was going to get it for me. So I was like, okay, I will just wait and play it then. So I played it like a week or two late than everybody else. Hold on. Sorry, I was a little worried you can hear the fan really, really loud in my headphones. Even though I said, who cares in the beginning? I still was self-conscious about it. <coughs> um, but I, I really, really enjoyed it. I, l- I love Ellie. I think that is she's a great character. Probably one of my favorite video game characters at the moment that I can think of. Uh, I love Dinah, especially because she's voiced by um. I can't think of her name, but Elsie from Westworld. Uh, I wish that I can't think of his name, but like the the boss of the bad people. Uh, he's voiced by Bernard. I can't think of his name, but he he's pretty cool. I wish he was in the game more. Maybe he will be if they do three or whatever. But uh, I, I really enjoyed... I, I, I liked her relationship. I was fucking... Spoilers, by the way. Spoilers! I was terrified Dinah was going to get her throat slit in the end. Because, you know, you killed Abby's pregnant friend. And her lover there. I, oh, I was so worried. But then, you know, that one kid came and saved the day with the arrow. I don't know a lot of their names. It's really... Names are hard for me to remember. And shit. 
Uh, but I really like the boy that's with Abby. I really like him. He was in the OA. I believe every season of the OA. I think it was. Well, I guess it was only two seasons of the OA. But he was in the OA. I really, really like him. And he's also in the movie Every Day. Um, like I was watching. I was watching it. <laughs> the cutscenes are so good. I was just watching like a movie. Um, but when I was watching the cutscenes, I was totally kidding. I was like, fuck, he looks so familiar. Who is that? I was like, is that the kid from the OA? And I wasn't sure. So I looked it up on IMDb. And it was him, and I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. Like, which, which, which I wasn't really... The Abby stuff takes a long time to get through. Like, I, I like the story. The story was great for Abby because, you know, it starts out... You're like, I know she's going to kill Joel. It seemed pretty obvious, and, like, you didn't want to finish that. And then, she, and then Joel saves her, and you're like, oh, okay, well, maybe not. And, the only, and I'm saying I know because, the, you know, the description of the game says that Ellie's out for revenge. And why else would she be out for revenge? You know, if they kill Joel, it makes a lot of sense. Um... But then, so, you know, she, Joel saves her, and, and <coughs> um, she ends up killing him. And, uh, I where was I? Oh, yeah, so, that, so the this, this story starts with that, and you're like, well, fuck Abby, she's a bitch, and I don't give a shit about you. And then later on, after you get to, like, a certain point in the game, you get, it's, like, it, it's like day three, and then, you know, she comes into the theater, and you're like, oh, fuck, the game's ending already? And then it switches, you gotta play all the game again as Abby, which is a really cool idea. It took me a bit to enjoy it. I was like, okay, fuck, I just want to be Ellie again. But then she meets the kid, and it's kind of a Last of Us thing again, where now she's with the kid, and they get a relationship, and she saves the kid, and all this stuff. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed the story. A lot. I was a little over it when I was playing it, because uh, some of the stuff felt a little repetitive to me. Um, but I, I, I really liked the story of that. And it it really... Oh, God. At, at, when, you're, when you get back to the theater as Abby... And you know you're crouching down. You you end up doing the whole thing again, uh, where you attack them in there. And then you're chasing Ellie through the theater, and you kind of redo the thing from Last of Us One, where you're in that like um, restaurant thing, and you know you're crouching around, you're hiding from that dude. Except now you're the one hunting after Ellie, and then eventually it switches where Ellie's hunting after you. But that part, I was like, well, I just want to, I just want to miss the whole time. I don't want to shoot Ellie. So, and, but then and, like, you have to to progress in the game, which is real fucking annoying. They really fucking get you with that. Uh, but yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed that. I was afraid she was going to kill Dinah, but I, I think overall it is a great game. I highly recommend it. I think you could enjoy it if you haven't played Last of Us 2. I think you'd obviously get a lot more out of it if you played Last of Us, the first, I said the last one. If you haven't played the first Last of Us, I think you would still enjoy it a lot. You'd get a lot more from it if you played the first one. And I honestly think just play the first one and then play this one and you'll have a fun time because you beat a great game and then you move on to another great game. And I... I get some people don't like it. I don't understand why. Is it because they killed Joel? Is it because I was gay? I, I don't know. Uh, but I, I enjoyed the whole thing. I thought it was great. W- one of my favorite games. That that series is my favorite game series now. Uh, used to, that used to be Bioshock. But now I, I really enjoy this. And I can't wait for it to be HBO show. Um, <coughs> I'm getting out of breath. I'm talking so much. Hold on. Oh, by the way, we'll get into me trying to quit under drinks. Clearly, it's not working. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, at the HBO show. Uh, let me look up her name. Uh, it's the the girl from uh, Booksmart. People really want her to play Ellie, and I'm a hundred percent down for that. Uh, what's her name? Caitlin uh, Dever. She would be great. The only problem is she's older now, so she would have to only play Ellie in like season two of Last of Us or something like that because. They would need a child for season one. They can't skip that storyline. Uh, I don't know who they would get for that, but there's there's many child actresses that they can get out there. Um, but she would be great for adult Ellie. I would 100% watch that. I'm going to watch the show anyways, but she, she'd be really good casting for that. Um, I think that's all my gaming talk. I, uh, I'm going to play God of War. I really enjoy it. Playing it, it's the, it's the little boy from mid-90s. I can't think of his name. But uh, the whole time, I just think of like uh, Kratos looks like Tom Segura to me. Like a really fit Tom Segura. And then the little boy's from mid-90s. So I have weird thoughts playing the whole game. But I don't know much about that. I, uh, I'm excited to play it, though. I heard Bernie from Mercedes said it was his favorite game of that year. Even higher than Red Dead, which I love Red Dead. Even though I didn't completely finish Red Dead. I I got to the point where you're, you, Arthur dies, and you play as John, and then I was doing videos on it, so I didn't want to play that part without filming. But then like there was days where I didn't want to film because I was all in my head, and then I never beat it. And then I started again playing Red Dead on the on a Plica account on Xbox, and I wanted to fin- I wanted to play the whole game on there, 
and then it didn't get that many views and then didn't get any comments and then i just kind of got in my head about it and uh didn't finish it again so yeah um i have one other story here and then i might just ramble on for the rest of the podcast i don't know how long these should be either i don't know if these should be short podcasts if i should go on for an hour i could try to watch videos too on here if you, people want to see that i mean react to videos and stuff uh yeah this is just, this is just for me to you know get stuff off my chest because i can't just sit here and talk to Hess and nick for my entire life i gotta do some shit on my own um but yeah so this uh was last weekend weekend before i think it was for fourth of july i don't even know i didn't want to do anything for fourth of july when we're in quarantine i don't want to see people it's my excuse to be by myself and be free but i had to hang out with people and we went to uh my this isn't this is also another story if you know me don't listen to this i'm gonna I, I i'm gonna bring up personal stories that you might be in and i might talk shit about you so in and if you do listen to this you broke the rule and you can't be mad at me for saying mean things about you okay deal okay um yeah so we were going to my aunt's house of course we always got to do something on some holiday because they want to get together and argue and me and my sister didn't want to go we were annoyed, and we knew there was going to be annoying people there, and they wanted to swim. I don't like swimming that much, mostly because... Okay, this is where we're going to go to personal. I don't like to swim a lot, and a lot of people don't know this because I am... I'm losing my hair. This is hard for me to say. I'm losing my hair. Uh, it, I, I can I can hide it pretty well, and I'm using hymns and all this, this stuff, and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to get into it. But I get embarrassed, even though I know people tell me it's not that bad. I'm not really... Okay, I don't have bald spots, but my hair is just thinning. Um... Yeah, so when I get in the water, I personally get embarrassed of how that looks, and I don't want to be in that situation, so I just say I hate swimming, and that's the first time I've ever admitted that. But anyways, we're going to their house, and they want to swim and drink and blah, 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 which I'm cool drinking, and I'll watch them swim. I don't care. I honestly don't really care about swimming either. It's not that fun. You just sit in the water and talk. I can sit out of the pool and talk. Uh, but on the way there, I need a drink. I am losing my breath. On the way there, we're listening to a podcast that my father turned on. I'm going to speak a little lower here because I don't want him to be listening to this. Yeah, whatever, I'll probably speak normal. But it's called, I forget what it's called. It's something, but it was about this guy taking, oh, what test was it? It was about him taking a test, like um, like a test to, for, like, it wasn't a medical exam. It was like to be a lawyer or something like that. And like they were saying that it's, and it was a little interesting, but at first I was like, Jesus fucking crap, listen to a podcast while taking a test for fuck's sake. So the whole opening of the car, right, the first 10 minutes, I was like, oh my God, plus it took him a bit, a bit to find out which one he wanted to listen to. So I heard the intro of like four podcasts, um, but then picked one and I didn't care at first, but then it got kind of in- interesting a little bit because they were like, it's not about passing the test. It's about like getting it done as quickly as possible but also as accurate as possible but just getting it done and that they the guy like timed himself doing a t- pre-test and all that shit and they said first thing you want to do is not see which ones are wrong but which ones are least likely check that i get a little interesting but then you know, it also got a little boring too because it's about taking tests who cares um but then i was like okay well this is going to be an interesting day we're listening to a podcast about a test going to a fourth of july party i want to go to Oh boy and we get there and it's always it's always so awkward just showing up to places too because everyone's just like hey and then they'll sit there and stare at you, and you're like, hi. And I, I, I'm so awkward with my family, but I, uh, you know, I don't like a lot of them. Most of them I like. I, don't, I wouldn't say I don't like a lot of them. There's certain, there's like a certain two people. But <laughs> anyways, I shouldn't be saying this. Um, but we get there, and they start chatting. And I, we, and there's the, the thing that I don't like is every time we go to one of these parties, there's a fight. Always a fight. With in there because there's certain people that get involved with these parties that probably shouldn't be invited to these parties but they get invited all the time anyways they don't like me and taylor and uh, that's my sister if you don't know and uh so we get there and it's a little awkward and we're kind of sitting around a bit and then uh, my cousin jackson comes up and he's like saying hi and me and taylor like i guess we should go outside and say hi to my aunt and my other cousin and her friend and all stuff we didn't want to go outside but we said whatever we'll go out there and say hi so we went out there and we said hi and it was actually starting to be an okay party it was all right and uh they're like hey you want to drink a it wasn't a white claw i think it was a truly and we we're like oh, okay so we went inside and we got them and i filled up they had like diet coke and vodka filled it up for them brought them out there and it was for once 
actually being a decent party. The ride there, I was dreading it, and I honestly think my feelings about the party I was putting on my dad's podcast and didn't want to listen to it um, a little, because I, like I said, I did enjoy it towards the end. Um, and then we got there, and it was actually okay. And then I went inside, and I heard them talking politics. And uh, my cousin's grandmother, so not related to me in any way, thank God, I don't like this woman, and I never will, uh, says, I don't forget those, if those Democrats get in, we're fucked. And just starts talking to me and my sister, like, oh, my God. I'm like, whatever. We grabbed the drinks, filled up their cups, went outside, and then she walks out, my uh, cousin's grandma, and she sits down by us, and we're like, oh, boy. And then I wasn't thinking anything about it. I, just, I was getting this big-ass ball, throwing in the pool for the dog, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then all of a sudden, I start hearing, oh, so you don't think I have an opinion? And my cousin goes, well, if you don't, if you, this is really good to her. Uh, if you think that blue lives matter and black lives don't matter, then yes. If you, and like they're arguing back and forth, and obviously we are everybody there except for that one girl, was like, yeah, black black lives matter, and that's the only thing. Like, fuck you if you have any other opinion on that. But we weren't gonna say that, like, cause we just we just want to we just want to argue, um, especially because like I I hate that girl to death, and I I I would probably say some really mean shit. But they're arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then it, 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 a lot of us didn't even hear what was going on at first. And then she gets up and she's like, well, fuck you if I don't have an opinion. This is a grown woman talking to like a 19-year-old, maybe a 20-year-old yelling at her. And I guess this is the second time I've had this argument that day. And I was like, oh, this is the moment. This is." So then she ends up storming out, doesn't even say bye to her son, all this stuff, just leaves. And then uh, my cousin, who was very drunk... And by drunk, I'm. When I said her age earlier, I was lying. Um, but so then she's ex- trying to explain to all of us who already agree with her. We just know that she's drunk and the other girl is drunk, so they weren't even like speaking correctly. And we we're like, oh my god. And we're trying to talk to her, and then she's just going in a circle and a circle and a circle. So she comes sits next to me, and I start calming her down. I'm like, yeah, we all agree with you. I'm like, I know you're right. I go, why don't you just just don't talk to her? Just cut her out of your life. If you if she doesn't agree with you, I go, that's if she was related to me. I'd never speak to her again. I'd cut her out of my life. We don't need her. And then she's saying that her therapist said you can't do that. And I was like, well, then I think your therapist is wrong. And then um, we then eventually went inside and her dad walked up and her dad's a little, uh, so we kind of cut the conversation there. But it was like everything we hoped, we, not, not everything we hoped, everything we thought it was going to be at that party ended up happening with those arguments. And uh, I don't remember my full point in bringing up this story, honestly. But yeah, that was just, it was a very shitty 4th of July. Uh, people were drunk and arguing about stuff, and they were so drunk that they couldn't even argue correctly. And it was just real, real shitty, and we didn't we didn't enjoy it. I wish I remember. I had a point to bring that up, and I don't remember now. I think it's time to cut to the Hess clip of the day. Um, and that might, uh, was there anything else? I think I wrote down other shit that I wanted to talk about, but I have notes on my phone and I have notes on my computer, so, uh, let's see what I have here. Oh yeah, this is, okay, I have, I have two more things that I want to talk about. Uh, one of them is, I was thinking about this the other day, how weird this is, how like, this happens to me a lot. So like I mentioned earlier, I have, I use him, so you put little droplets in your hair and all this stuff. Uh, but let's say I'm doing that, or I'm brushing my teeth, or I'm doing a specific activity, like I'm doing the dishes or whatever, and I'm listening to a podcast. I will remember the podcast so much more because I'm doing an activity. And and oh, be, oh, not even like later, later on, it'll just be like, I'll listen to, say I listen to that podcast again in like a month or a year or something. And I don't know if this is just me, but, or this could happen to everybody in the, this year, guys are like, duh. But say I'm listening to a month or a year later, and I'm like going for a walk, or I'm playing a game, and let's do it. I will be like, oh yeah, I, this, like when like, I, well, usually it happens a lot, like I'll listen to Ken Smith's podcast and he'll start telling a story and I'll be like, have I heard this? And I'm like, oh yeah, I was doing the dishes when I heard this before. Like if I'm doing a specific activity or if I am playing a video game while listening to a podcast and like I hear it again or something of that podcast comes up in my life, I'll be like, oh yeah, I was playing a game and then I'll remember the whole thing. And I was thinking, geez, I was thinking how could I relate that into like helping you out? Like I wonder if there's a way that you could use your memory like that to help you out with like school or anything else that's like important in life 
because like there's not much other things that like i could think of that like i like because i forget a lot of shit other than unless it's like entertainment stuff like watching a movie or something but i was thinking about how weird that is that like like when i'm listening to the podcast normal just and i'm not doing say I'm, say I'm just going for oh that i gotta fix that camera in a second say i'm just going for a walk and i'm listening to a podcast and something comes up i'll be like oh yeah i vaguely remember this like i'll know bits and pieces of it but if i'm like washing dishes or if i'm playing a video game or if i'm doing stuff in my hair or if i'm working out because there's an activity tied to me listening to it i remember it so much more and i just find that so fascinating and i wonder if there's any like if you could use that tool to other things i just, I just found that so interesting uh, but i got this camera has a little i don't know if i need to put a new sd card in there or what but let's just give me one second oh okay okay mike it, it says it has 25 minutes left i don't think i'm gonna be talking for 25 more minutes so that's fine you know, this is, I mean, at least for me, I feel like this is going a lot better than I uh, thought it was. See, I get in my head, I feel like I'm going to sit down and not have much to talk about, but I can't shut the fuck up. Um, my last thing, and then I'll probably wrap this up. <coughs> <coughs> Actually, I kind of want to bring up something else, too, maybe, uh, is everybody wants to blow Hamilton, and I don't like it. I've only watched 45 minutes of it, so maybe if I sat down and watched the whole thing by myself and got myself into it, I would enjoy it. But to me personally, musicals, like when everybody is, ra- is and I know there's raps in this one. The raps are cool and unique, but every other part where they're just singing, I can't stand it. Because when everybody is singing, to me, it all sounds like the same song and I can't follow it. And that might be because I'm stupid, because I am, you know, not the smartest cookie in the cookie jar. Wouldn't that be like maybe tastiest cookie in the cookie jar? Uh, anyways. But, like, when everybody is singing all together, it all sounds the same. Like, my, my dad was finishing it because we watched, like, four or five minutes together. And I was like, you know, I'm good. I get the gist of it. Um, and he finished it, whatever. But he was listening to it, and I went in the living or the kitchen to get water or something, and I was hearing it. And it literally, like, for a split second, I was like, oh, is he watching Little Mermaid? Because it just sounded like, an, like another song I've heard. Like, it sounds very similar to other music to me when they're all singing together and I just can't follow it. Cause then it gets so boring. Cause that, that's a big thing for me. Something has to be so good for me to want to rewatch and rewatch and rewatch it. Like I hate, like when that I quit video games a lot cause I'll get stuck in a part and I'll be playing it. Or you have to re- like run past the mission and come back. Like you're redoing things bugs the shit out of me. I don't know what that is, but it's always been, it's always been a thing for me. Redoing something sucks. So, but that's what, like when I watch movies, I rate them off of their rewatchability and so like when I, and then like so if I'm watching something and it reminds me a lot of something else and it's not something that I really enjoy, um, then it really bugs me. But yeah, I don't like Hamilton. And maybe people can change my mind. I don't know. Maybe I should give it another try. But everybody likes it, and I I can't get into it. And and like I do enjoy some musicals. Like my fa- and this is gonna this might you know show you my taste. One of my favorite episodes of Flash and Supergirl is actually their musical crossover episode. I really really enjoy that episode. I rewatched that several times but i can't get into i can't get into hamilton so i don't i don't know i don't know what that is uh maybe uh i'm stupid i don't know the last thing i want to talk about is these crazy conspiracy theories that are going around on tiktok that seem so real that i don't know what to make of them and i'm not talking about the wayfair stuff or any of that shit because like that stuff is just like crazy and i don't know a lot about that i don't know a lot about this either but this i feel like i could at least talk about howie mandel his tiktoks have been so weird here i'll play a couple here hello people of tiktok i'm okay i have not been kidnapped thank you all for worrying There is no signs in this video. Nothing to figure out except listen to what I'm saying. I'm fine. This is crazy. I know nobody's making me do this. And if somebody was making me do this, what are the instructions to do this? 
I'm fine, people. Okay, so a bunch of my comments right now are telling me to go check on Howie, because apparently he's been making weird videos and people are worried about him. So I'm gonna be there in two minutes and I'm gonna give us the inside scoop. Howie! Here he comes. Keep in mind he's a huge germaphobe. <laughs> people, people are worried. Because your TikToks are, are they're, they're weird. I'm 64! I'm on TikTok! That's me! <laughs> you're right. Okay, okay, you're right. Okay. I can go wherever I want. I don't want to be near anybody. Right. David, I love you, buddy. Thank you for. Let me just make sure you're okay. No! No! <laughs> and, like, he's lifting up a toilet seat, which I feel like he would never do. He has secret codes, secret codes like under his hat that like if you look him up mean like there's a gunman in the house, something like that, or like there's a guy here with a gun, one of those codes, and it's so they're so weird and so like vague, and I can't tell if it's a publicity stunt if he's being held captive, and it, it also seems weird to me if someone's holding holding you captive, and they're like yo make these TikToks. I I don't know what that'd be all about. And it also seems weird to me because, like, say I was very popular and I was, like, Harry Mandel level. And I every single one of my TikToks that I posted, someone commented or people were commenting and taking the videos and slowing them down and doing all this. Oh, you could hear a guy in the background, all this stuff. If I heard that, I'd, like, put up a tweet or an Instagram post or even a TikTok and be like, no, 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 guys, I'm fine. I'm just a weirdo. But he's not doing that. And I don't understand why, which makes it feel more real. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this, but it's super fascinating. Same thing with Britney Spears. Like someone put up a, a comment on one of her posts and said, wear yellow in your next post if you're in trouble or if you need help, something like that. And then her next TikTok, she had a yellow dress on and then the captain said like, oh, I put on my favorite colored dress today. And that's it's just so, so weird. And I'm afraid we're never going to get an answer about this. And it really bugs me because I want to, I want to know if they're like fucking with people. And they're like, no, no, like, watch, let's just see how long I can string this along. Or if they're really in trouble and maybe we need to get someone over to their houses. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's all I got today. 30 minute podcast by myself. I think that's pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty good. Words are hard. Um, and yeah, just remember, if you know me, don't listen to this. And if you do listen to this, you can't get your feelings hurt and you can talk to me about it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Th- this podcast is on uh, Spotify, iTunes. I think Google Podcasts, it's on Anchor, it's on YouTube, Um, should be on pretty much anything you get your podcasts on, I believe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, next time, I don't know when that'll be, but uh, maybe maybe every two weeks, every other week, I don't know, whenever I have at least four topics to talk about, and I'm not in my head about doing a podcast, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later, alligators. Gators.